Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are not a Lola, make sure you click the subscribe button so you can be one of my Lolas peeping in my window. Guys, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so that you don't miss anything. And also guys, make sure you are following me on Instagram. My Instagram name is the same as my channel name, it's Serenity Smith. And also, <laughs> And also, make sure you're following my blog. It is MissRenitysmithBabies.com. I know lately my blog has been sounding like very like gloomy and doomy, but I am going to pep it up, guys, for you guys. I'm just going through the motions, and I'm actually writing in raw emotions. I don't even edit. I just sometimes I'm writing like three or four o'clock in the morning or late night before I go to bed. So I'm just basically expressing my thoughts, what's on my mind at that time. So bear with me. I'm not always doom and gloom. <laughs> Girl, what? Anyway, so I just, I, I came to really show you guys this little one here. She is my little micro preemie. She's 13 and a half inches. She was painted and rooted by myself. Um, so, and for those that may not know, she's Birdie by Elsie Rodriguez. So listen guys, listen. First of all, I want to say shout out to Embrace Reborns because, listen, you have been a saint to me. I actually have been using the links that you shared with me on where to find clothes for this little baby because it is so challenging, guys, to find clothes for these little ones. But it is also so fun and rewarding. But you can get lost in the sauce and spend way more money than you expect. So I've been trying to slow down, but I found... So this, this I did find through one of the links that Miss Earl shared with me with the little hat. And you guys probably have seen this on Instagram. She's wore this already. It's just a little cute little dress and a hat. And I thought it was really cute. It's very thick. So good for winter. But listen, the little, the little um, onesie that she has on right now. Oh my gosh. The fabric is amazing. I have discovered me a place where I can go. Um, patdoodles.com. Oh, Miss Pat does her thing. Let me tell you. Um, I discover her with my bags, the baby bag. She does the little uh, baby totes. And the prices is very reasonable. And the quality is there. Um, but her stitch work. On her clothing oh my gosh like these baby this baby clothes look so professional in the stitch work inside and out and the quality of the fabric that she's using is whoo it's nice I was actually impressed because I was like okay this is gonna probably be like pretty thin but no it's not it's not it's not really super thin or anything like that so let me see if I can get over here without losing light um, but yeah so she has this little romper on and i'm i'm probably getting in the light let me see what i can do okay so i'm gonna try to put the light here there all right and try to see what you guys can see which is always a challenge okay so i did have you know guys i love my embroidery type stuff so i did have her you know put um miss serenity smith babies on there because She's a Miss Randy Smith baby. <laughs> Why not? And so the back is just plain, but it fits. As you can see, it really fits her to a T. Like it doesn't, it's not sagging down here or anything. The leg part is fitting against her legs properly. Everything, the neck part is actually fitting around her neck. So that stuff is what really I like when you're dealing with the little tiny clothes. Like I've found clothes where they fit you know overall but they've been like too loose fitting and stuff like that but anyway so that's that's that the, her little thing there but I was so overjoyed when I got her little oh my god look at this I wanted her I said oh I want the side snap so and I've actually tried this on her so I will share photos on Instagram because I wanted to see if she could wear this but oh my god, look at this little t-shirt. And it has a little side snap. It is amazing. And then um, it's just plain on the back. But if you can see like the little stitch work, like the ends, it's like almost, it's, I, I like the way she did the ends and the way she did this part. I don't know. 
it's probably not catching up but the little detail in it is nice it's really nice it it just looks very professional it looks like a, a store-bought item and then look at this oh my goodness same thing inside here is really nice and I of course had to get that stitched on the bottom ah, yes girl um so like I said inside it's nice it's nice it's soft inside and it fits her like perfect and she had it all packaged up nicely but of course I can't wait on nothing so and she sent a little a little rattle <laughs> she sent a little baby rattle with her and it was so cute um just her packaging is really nice so she sent me I had got some socks from her that was bigger a bigger size than this and I asked could you cut these down and make these smaller so she made these smaller and um so they fit like the foot from heel to toe is perfect they are a little bit wide but that was before she even know, knew what baby i was actually getting it for but i'm so happy to have these socks because i love these socks because they look like little hospital like socks so i'm so excited about those and as you guys know i am like nesting for a bigger preemie size baby so whatever ruby doesn't fit her future sibling will fit because i am nesting for a little bit bigger preemie silicone baby full body i don't know who she's gonna be where she's gonna come from but i plan to paint her myself and i plan to find her somewhere out there there's a preemie calling my name somewhere over the rainbow okay yeah y'all needed that baby you better get with it <laughs> okay so anyway i thought this was so adorable oh my gosh so i haven't tried this on her but i wasn't sure now this one i actually just bought and i think i picked out a bigger size because it said 13 to i think 13 to 15 inch or something like that but i got it anyway because just in case and i think like oh look at the hat <laughs> so the hat fits i think you know sometimes when she once she puts it on it may surprise us oh my goodness look at that oh gosh we gotta see this we gotta see her with color child don't mind the hair we gotta see her with some color on because she's kind of in a muted color so sorry my nails are getting too long i need to file them down so and it's got a little snap right there, which I love. So, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to pick her up. She's just so little. Like, child, it'd be just too much to be trying to bend over. My back is not in the mood for it. Say, my back, my neck, my back, my neck, my back, my neck. Look at that, look at that. Stand up. Oh gosh. So anyway, this oh I love the I love the feel of the clothes when they have good. So I'm I'm old fashioned. My grandmother practically raised me. So I'm all about the feel of the fabric. Like I'm one of those people that go in the store and before I purchase an outfit or something like that, the first thing I do is feel it. I have to feel it. It has to feel good. Um my grandmother always be like, feel it. <laughs> like I'm just one of those those people so we'll see this outfit may or may not fit her um, but I'm thinking if I scrunch it up it may I knew that it was this was not something custom made for her so don't be concerned about the size not fitting this is something I just bought outside of the store um because she has an Etsy shop when you go to pet pat doodles dot com um you'll find her etsy shop and i just kind of went there and saw this and i was like oh i gotta have that and i was like maybe maybe it might still fit it, it looked like you know this the measurements of what she said it was i thought it was might be too did i put it on the wrong way no okay i don't know but this is the way it's going today so, 
yeah so see she this this works for me because you know if a baby is this size a lot of stuff is not gonna fit exact either although i like when they fit really good oh but look at it it does fit good enough so i'm not disappointed that i got it because i think it still does her her good what you guys think look at my little stupid book look at you ruby hey ruby tuby look at this look at you ruby <laughs> Ruby, Ruby Tuesday, on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday. Her little wrinkles all over her little, so I just wrinkled all up. All right, so that is my little Ruby Tuesday. So there you have it, guys. She is not the naked baby anymore. She is moving on up to clothes. So now we will have some photos of this little girl and different things I am so excited so anyway aunties that is it that is all I wanted to share with you guys is little miss Ruby got clothes finally so let us say yay um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you can see the photos of her and guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up when you get get it and also share the video. Share it on your page, on your Facebook. Share it everywhere you can share it and let people know, hey, check out Miss Serenity Smith. And then also, guys, share patdoodles.com and be like, hey, if you're looking for micro creamy clothes, this lady has micro creamy clothes because they are so hard to find. So, you know, she already has stuff already pre-made. And then also, like, I've contacted her for custom items as well. But she, I did find that some stuff like this was actually in her shop. So that was pretty cool. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.